Hey everyone, this is Nate from Get Void, and today we'll be outlining the differences between PRI and SIP trunking, explain how each works, and give you the pros and cons of both options. Let's get right to it. The difference between PRI and SIP trunking is that PRI requires a physical wired connection to the digital PSTN to allow for 23 simultaneous communication channels or lines, while SIP trunking virtually connects to the IP network to allow for unlimited VoIP-based communication channels. SIP, or Session Initiation Protocol, is a signaling protocol that facilitates internet-based VoIP communications by establishing, maintaining, and ending two-way communication links between endpoints. SIP sessions refer specifically to VoIP, or Voice Over Internet Protocol, communications, which take place over the internet. It also encompasses all forms of virtual communication, not just voice calling, but also video conferencing, SMS and MMS messaging, virtual faxing, instant chat messaging, and all other virtual messaging applications, website chat, social media messaging, chat apps, etc., along with free unlimited local and long distance calling, because SIP calls are placed over the internet. SIP works by providing your existing PBX system with VoIP connectivity to send and receive business communications via the internet instead of PSTN's physical lines and physical circuits. SIP trunking is a group of interconnected SIP trunks or phone lines that make up your business's virtual phone network. Each SIP trunk, much like an analog phone line, is assigned to an individual, department, or another group of users. But unlike PRI, SIP trunking makes it much easier to add, update, or remove additional phone lines because they don't require additional hardware or come with a lengthy setup process. Plus, SIP trunks don't just manage VoIP voice calling, they enable real-time, omni-channel unified communications across voice, video messaging, virtual faxing, and more. PRI, or Primary Rate Interface, is a telecommunications technology that, using T carrier systems and a physical connection to your on-premise PBX, provides access to 23 concurrent voice and data channels per PRI line. PRI was developed as an alternative to the traditional POTS, or plain old telephone service, network, which can only handle one phone call at a time. PRI works by using two pairs of copper wires, called the PRI circuit, to physically connect your PBX phone system to the virtual PSTN, creating a dedicated network operating via duplex data transmission. Each PRI circuit includes 23 communication channels, or B channels, plus one more channel, the D channel. Users can add additional PRI circuits to link multiple PBX systems together, access an additional 23 channels, or act as a failover in case of a service outage. PRI lines, also called PRI trunks, are compatible with both analog and IP PBX phone systems, but always require a physical connection to the network. For more detailed information on PRI and SIP trunking, click the link in the description box below. If you found this video informative, give it a like, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell below to keep up with our journey to simplify the VoIP world. Till next time, this is Nate from GetVoIP.